Lady Gaga has sparked engagement rumors after she was spotted wearing a large, diamond sparkler on her ring finger during an outing in L.A. over the weekend on Sunday. The bad romance singer, 38, whose upcoming film Joker, Foley Adu was officially given an R rating, wore the eye-catching ring while briefly visiting a close friend. The flashy piece of jewelry appeared to be oval-shaped and also placed on a gold band. She opted for an all-black ensemble as well as a long coat for the daytime excursion, and carried a large, Bottega Veneta tote bag to complete the look. Since 2019, the House of Gucci actress has been dating Parker Group CEO, Michael Polanski. However, the pair have yet to publicly comment on the engagement speculation. Lady Gaga, 38, has sparked engagement rumors after she was spotted wearing a large, diamond sparkler on her ring finger during an outing in L.A. over the weekend on Sunday. The flashy piece of jewelry appeared to be oval-shaped and also placed on a gold band. According to Page Six, social media users jumped to X to share their thoughts on the recent photos, with one penning, I don't see enough people freaking out about Gaga's engagement ring like hello. Another fan typed out, Girl are you engaged followed by crying face emojis. In December 2019, the songstress was first linked to Polanski when the two were seen celebrating New Year's in Las Vegas. And in early 2020, the pair confirmed their budding romance by sharing a kiss in Miami and the Grammy winner went instagram official with Michael soon after. The star, whose real name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanotta, uploaded a snap at the time as she snuggled close to her boyfriend while sitting on his lap. In the caption, she had written, We had so much fun in Miami. Love to all my little monsters and fans. You're the best, followed by a red heart emoji. The couple have since been seen spending time together on various occasions, such as the two attending the 2022 BAFTAs. However, in March 2023, rumors arose that Lady Gaga and Polanski had gone their separate ways, with a source telling Radar Online at the time, they broke up a few months ago. It was amicable. They're still friends. The bad romance singer notably wore the eye-catching ring while briefly visiting a close friend. Since 2019, the House of Gucci actress has been dating Parker Group CEO, Michael Polanski. However, the pair have yet to publicly comment on the engagement speculation. But later that same year, the pair proved their romance was going strong when they were spotted in Las Vegas together and also stopped by a SNL after party. Earlier this year in February, the Lovebirds attended the Super Bowl in Las Vegas and sat next to each other in a VIP suite at Allegiant Stadium. Most recently, Lady Gaga was accompanied by Michael and some of her close pals at celebrity hotspot, Giorgio Baldi, to celebrate her 38th birthday on March 28. Back in 2021, a source opened up about their relationship and told Us Weekly, Michael really is a great guy. He's down to earth, smart, and focused on his businesses. The insider added that Michael, brings real stability to her life. When they're together, they are always touching, giggling and it's obvious they really love each other. Later that same year, the performer herself briefly commented on the relationship during an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. My dogs and the man that I love are my whole life. Lady Gaga has been keeping busy and is preparing for her Las Vegas residency called Lady Gaga Jazz and Piano which will take place from June 19 through July 6 at the Park MGM. She also has taken on the role of Harley Quinn in the upcoming film and sequel Joker, Folie Adu which is slated to hit theaters later this year on October 4. The official trailer is set to drop this week on Tuesday, April 9, with the film also starring Joaquin Phoenix and Zazie Beetz. The full premise has been kept under wraps with Todd Phillips directing the anticipated project.
An official poster also was recently released and showed Phoenix and Lady Gaga dancing underneath a spotlight in a dimly lit space. The Joker, who is reprised by Joaquin, wore a black tuxedo while the songstress donned an elegant, white dress. The actress has already garnered Oscar buzz for her role and is tapping into her wild child eccentricities, belting her brains out is rumored to be a musical, and making this year's Best Actress race a wickedly good and weird time, per Entertainment Weekly. In regards to rumors that the sequel will be a musical, sources told Variety last month in March that the movie was leaning towards being mostly a jukebox musical. The insiders also stated that there could be around 15 covers of very well-known tracks included throughout the duration of the film. While there is a possibility that original songs could be included as well, one tune that is covered is That's Entertainment from the 1953 classic, The Bandwagon.